Perfect. We're so excited to have you on. So for everyone that's trickling in and joining, Francesco is the CEO of Storybook App. And so he's created a platform that essentially combines stories and massage to help children fall asleep faster. And so I think all of us could use a little bit more sleep. And I'm really intrigued by your path to create this product. So with that, I'd love for you to introduce yourself. Wonderful. Thank you so much. So yeah, as, as you said, uh, we created this app, it's called Storybook, and uh, it combines three things that uh, science has uh, shown to help uh, babies relax and sleep, and even uh, older kids, which are infant massage, bedtime stories, and music. So with Storybook, parents can create a routine and help their kids to sleep uh, uh, faster, sleep deeper, and uh, most importantly, share um, an amazing bonding time at five minutes before bedtime. Um, that everyone will enjoy. So um, this started as, as uh, most uh, startups it started with a problem that we had. Uh, my co-founder, co-founder, she's my wife, Daniela. Um, she had this amazing idea when we were struggling with our kids sleep back when they were uh, little babies, one and three year olds. We were living in Australia. Uh, we were originally from Ecuador. Uh, it was a, a chaotic time for us, and, and she, uh, she was studying uh, infant massage, and she started to see the benefits with her own kids, and it was amazing, the, the power of bringing these three things together, the yeah. infant massage techniques, the bedtime stories, and the music. Oh, that's so awesome, because I was looking at your app before we jumped on, and I was like, I want to download this and have someone give me a massage. And yeah. <laughs> I was curious how you developed because on the app it, it shows you instructions and it gives you like a diagram of your baby and literally gives you massage training, infant massage exactly. right within the app. And so um, how many years ago was that when your, your children were one and three, you said? So this was around five years ago. Um, and that's when, when the chaos started. We didn't fix it straight away. It took us like probably a year to, to get into that place where we discover uh, Daniela. Uh, I'm, I'm saying we, but it, it was actually her uh, discovery. Um, she started to combine these things. So she was, uh, uh, they were our guinea pigs and she was trying the infant, the infant massage techniques. Uh, but at the same time, she was putting music and she had a book and she was reading the stories to them. There was nothing like that in the market. So it started to help us a, a lot. It changed our life completely, the dynamics, the the routine was entirely different. The kids were fighting each other over going to bed first because they wanted their storybook time. But by that time, it was just their massage time. So we decided to create the app. And as you said, something that we, we knew from day one is we didn't want screen time for them. So the app is, is really not for the kids. The app is for the parents. The kids will be only listening to the stories and the parents will be following the infant massage techniques, which in fact, uh, yeah, as you said, you will be learning techniques, but the most important thing that we always tell parents is that um, the, the, is, you don't have to make the, the techniques perfect. The most important thing is that uh, you have to be present in the moment. So you have to be uh, enjoying what you're doing, uh, rubbing your kids back or hands or feet or face, whichever area you're working on. It's more about human touch and human uh, connection. I think it's really challenging for and what you and your wife have done is you've created an app that actually can help with bonding because like you said it's not meant to be a tool that you just put in your kid's room and shut the door and it's entertaining them until they fall asleep but it could be really nice if you've had a long day and if a lot of your you know day is speaking that the app is reading the story for you but like you said you're still present in the moment and then utilizing therapeutic massage from a trained and licensed therapist so it's really awesome because you have an opportunity you know to learn and and it looks like you've also done some case studies as well so it can improve respiratory function mm -hmm. i mean definitely with like digestive tract function just light massage can help so much if your child is having colic um, and so that was my question for you next is, um, you know, your children were one and three, but where did you start seeing the different applications and what is really the ideal age range for utilization? Yeah, and, and I love you, you bring this uh, topic and starting from, from the beginning, uh, yeah, um, we are competing against 
um, closing the night, uh, closing the day by just li leaving your kids to watch TV until they, they fall asleep. And sometimes we're tired and, and it seems like a plausible option, uh, but there's nothing like um, actually closing the day in a loving way. And this is what we are trying to create, this bonding moment. Um, and um, there's lots of research on the benefits of massage uh, from premature babies to um, uh, grown-ups and the elderly. So um, the, the applications are uh, such, and uh, there are so many benefits that we, we have found over these past two years and a little bit more that the app has been in, uh, it has been live. And so many uh, cases from parents that reach out and tell us um, things that we, we were even considering, like um, starting from emotional uh, process, uh, emotional uh, uh, problems, like um, kids that uh, don't feel comfortable about who they are or are having anxiety or with the pandemic, uh, lots of problems of anxiety and uncertainty. And uh, through this bonding moment with massage, we have been able to help them uh, feel better, connect what, more with their parents, to all the way to the yeah, the colleagues and even helping with, uh, of course, the sleep problems. So there's a tons of applications. We have users in the, all these uh, age range from uh, newborns to 12 year olds. And uh, you will find diff different things uh, out there. But the most important thing is that um, the app is not there to do the magic. We are just giving a tool for the parents to do the magic. So ultimately they can sleep better, they can, is some colleague, uh, but ultimately they will bond with the parents. I love that so much. And going back to what you were saying about, you know, the power of touch. And I think that more and more research comes out all the time. Um, but for instance, you, you triggered my memory. So at my background, I'm a nurse practitioner and I was providing care in these orphanages in Thailand about seven years ago. And I remember that um, we were doing eye exams and sometimes when the blood pressure is really, really high, especially in a smaller child, this little girl was about six years old, um, it can be fatal at times, especially if you're really far, like we were hours and hours away from the nearest urgent care or emergency room setting. And so I recall like everyone being very frightened and gathering around and that was, you know, making this little girl even more nervous. Mm -hmm. and a simple moment, something as small as, you know, just sitting her down on, on my lap and actually like calmly rubbing her back and asking her to focus on something that was like really inside of like the three feet in front of us, you mm -hmm. know, to shift her attention totally changed her physiology in that moment like what could have gone into a hypertensive crisis that we mm -hmm. actually didn't have the tools to treat um you could actually see the difference within a matter of three minutes in terms of how touch can improve physiology and of course that's a more acute example but i i like that you gave that application even for some older children who mm -hmm. might be coming home or struggling with anxiety or maybe they went through bullying at the end of the day. And this is a really powerful way to help them come back into their body. Right? Exactly. Post. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, I love that, that story. Um, we, we have the privilege to, to have a um, professor, um, um, professor um, Marta Pelais uh, and Tiffany Field. Both of them have been pioneering the research on human touch. And uh, 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 Tiffany is actually the one who came with this very famous study on premature babies and, and how the, the physical touch can increase the production of oxytocin in, in both the baby and the parent. Uh, both feel more connected, the bonding increases, uh, the baby can sleep better, the baby gains more weight. So there's tons of research on what happens inside the body when, when the power of touch is being applied. Absolutely. And I love to see that that research is being continued in human studies. So um, I didn't really introduce myself. But for those that are joining from your audience, um, I'm the founder of The Natural Nipple. And so our goal is also to help parents and babies get more sleep, but in a different way. Um, we're focusing on reducing latching frustration as well as complications that can occur from milk coming out of bottles in a way that's not like our 
maternal milk flow so way too fast um and so when i saw the power of breastfeeding because that involves touch right that is um, prolonged contact with your baby um, we see not only the actual nutrients that are being passed through the breast milk improving neurological function but a big byproduct of that is the amount of exactly. physical bonding mm -hmm. skin, skin that's happening and um, a lot of the preliminary research was done in mouse and rat models where they were looking longitudinally over the development of the little mice and they were really surprised because the brain developed so different when they didn't have as much touch and as much um, comfort. Uh, and so it actually created more of a heightened fight or flight mm -hmm. response where more cortisol over time was being produced. And you can imagine if you're constantly in that state, that's really bad for your cardiovascular system, your blood vessels, you end up developing cardiac problems much earlier in life. And so um, when you can improve these, uh, these functions at the very start in life, with, whether it be you know, through a storybook or whether it be more opportunities to bond with your child through the natural nipple, I love it because it's very preventative and it seems so simple, but it's, it's, it's powerful. And it's really powerful. Exactly. And so I, I recall on your site, it says you have 89% better connection with your child and 80% better sleep with use of storybooks. So do you want to talk, talk a little bit about some of those testimonials? Sure. So um, the number one thing uh, why parents choose a storybook or why they download storybook in the first place is because they are looking for something to help their kids sleep. Um, but ultimately, they stay using storybook because they find this um, additional uh, outcome in, and it's um, just enjoying the, the bonding time with your kids. So um, in the latest survey that, that we run to through, through our users, uh, over a thousand users, told us that 79% uh, of them told us that they see sleep uh, related benefits. So um, reduced latency, so sleeping faster, sleeping deeper. Um, but then number one uh, benefit they saw is that they felt more connected with their kids. Uh, and, and we have some quotes of the parents that uh, were part of this study that told us, I feel um, a better parent because I'm uh, giving even five minutes of my day to fully be present and to give my 100% of my love to my child. So um, uh, right now we are uh, about to start clinical trials with the Florida International University and uh, Professor, Professor Marta Pelais and a board of uh, scientific researchers to, to have a, a peer review uh, information on, on the power of these three things that we are combining because it hasn't been done in the past. So um, we're really excited about this. I'm hoping this will be ready for a publication by February next year. So yeah, I'll, I'll be happy to share those results with you. I would love to have you back on Francesco so we can get an update. Um, because absolutely, when you look at the research, like we were talking about from touch isolated, and then, um, you know, through music, there's been some data um, on how it helps enhance brain development and lights up different lobes of the brain. So to actually see synergistically combining these three modalities as well as story will be so interesting. Um, and that's, I kind of uh, lost my train of thought when you were talking about actually the application with anxiety as well. So when a parent goes into the app, do they actually pick based on story or based on problem? Like how is it organized right now? We recommend stories based on their needs. So they, when they create their, their account, they will tell us the age of the child and what's the need that they have. Most of them will tell us sleep. It's like the most common problem <laughs> every parent can relate to. But in more specific cases, parents will tell us my the kid is suffering stress uh, or now it's a, um, back to school time so now they there's a lot of anxiety and uh, with the COVID situation more so so um, we will recommend stories based on that um, for older kids um, four five six and, and above we have more um, complex stories and um, to talk about the emotions like what it feels for a kid uh, or how to express when they are feeling afraid 
uh, and how feeling afraid is something that is not bad. And it's something that actually can, can help you. And, and what it's like to feel a, a anger or even happiness. So we talk a lot about emotions. And now we just release um, stories uh, with another relaxation, relaxation techniques. Uh, in this case, it's not infant massage, but it's a uh, guided breathing. Um, but again, uh, with the help of their parents. So yeah. uh, with, uh, while you're breathing, you're thinking about yourself and the good things that you have and all the uniqueness that, that you bring to the world. And um, so there's a lot of positive messaging throughout the app and different applications in, for uh, the problems that the kids may have or in, of course, of the age they, they have. This is so wonderful because I think that um, for a long time, you know, we've been trying to get meditation curriculum into schools because we know the benefit of it. But what's beautiful about utilizing an app that has other advantages is you can introduce these really therapeutic preventative modalities early on and make them habits. And so um, particularly with, you know, the, the breathing meditation, I'm really glad you touched on that. Um, there's a very therapeutic three-part breath. And it's, it's almost like, you know, when you've cried as hard as you ever could and your like last physiological response is <laughs> like this. So yeah. we, before I started studying in my PhD, the immunobiology of breast milk, I was really fascinated by this breathwork modality because it is so therapeutic. Like if you've ever tried it, you feel absolutely relaxed or sometimes you'll just cry. It's like whatever your body needs in that moment, it's able to give to itself. And so um, it's something that, you know, if it's guided through an app is best you know, for a shorter amount of time. And I'm, um, you know, I'm curious because literature in 2017, when I wrote this paper on it, was more focused on um, standardized breathing modalities that are offered through yoga. But it did show that there was efficacy and changes in the dopamine levels and the GABA levels that help with self-regulation mm -hmm. and in, of, in this instance, PTSD-like symptoms. And so when you're building out this content, Francesca, are you working with any collaborators? Or I see great room for opportunity there with uh, preventative modalities in the app. Yeah, this is uh, something pretty new that we brought to the app. Um, we just have four stories on guided breathing and we're working with this uh, scientific board that I, that I mentioned. Um, and so it's something that we're still testing to see how it goes. It's 30 days old in the app, yeah. uh, but the feedback so far has been amazing. And I'm using that with my kids a lot now. Uh, my kids are now uh, nine and seven. And uh, for all this period back to school, uh, we moved countries. Uh, we are in a, a different city. They are going to school for the first time in close to two years. So um, they, are, they have been asking for the specific story that we have for back to school that it's called the color palette. Uh, that talks about feeling uh, afraid of going back to school. But on the other hand, there's great things about going back to school and um, teaching them how to read when they are feeling anxious. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a fascinating uh, area to, to talk to. Absolutely. Talk about. There's so much that can be done through story um, that is healing and therapeutic because uh, your brain is so much more relaxed, right? And you have mm -hmm. an follow and so i think it's really wonderful that you and your wife have created something that's being utilized like in something that's a result of the pandemic that many children are facing and um having been homeschooled myself i wish i had... <laughs> well not back when i went to public school for the first time um so it's really beautiful what you're doing and i'm excited to see some of that evidence and at the end of the day um, research is great because it shows us how it's working, but mm -hmm. also you're, you're having the testimonials and like the people returning to the story because they feel good in their body and they feel relaxed and they feel like they're getting more sleep and achieving the outcomes that they need. And, and that's something it seems you've already been able to do. So I wanted to ask you about where we find you and uh, what languages you're available in. 
Sure. Um, just to to close on the on the previous note, um, I, I'm going to give you our secret sauce. And what we found, this is really what uh, nobody else was doing. Um, you have content like audio stories or calm like apps for kids. There's tons of uh, audio apps for kids. Um, but the most important thing for a kid is to have their parents or their caretakers by their side. So what we are really doing is we are creating this togetherness moment, as we call it. So they can relax, they can uh, regulate with the help, help of their parents. So uh, that's ultimately what we are trying to do, to build this connection, which is the most meaningful human relationship they will have, the first meaningful relationship they will have uh, that will be extremely important for the rest of their lives. So, yeah, I, I can talk about hours, uh, for hours about this. I'm, I'm really passionate about what we do. Um, you can find us on, um, if you search Storybook app anywhere, pretty much you will find us. Um, we have a very strong presence in Spanish-speaking countries, as my accent will pro probably tell. <laughs> we are uh, originally from South America, so we grew really large there. Uh, you will find our social media in Spanish and English. Uh, the app is in Spanish, English, and Portuguese as well. All the stories. And we are, um, we will be releasing a new version of the app really soon. We are excited about that. We will be introducing a lot of new features catered specifically for uh, or younger uh, demographics for babies. And yeah, on our website, it's um, storybook-app.com. Um, so yeah, and the app, of course, is available in the App Store and on Google Play as well. Absolutely amazing. Well, I think it's brilliant what you guys have come across and that's always how true innovations are found, right? Like you really hit on a problem that you were facing in this instance yourselves with your own children. And through that, you've been able to help millions of others. Like you've been featured in Forbes. I'm not sure if you're comfortable sharing how many downloads you have, but you're in 60 countries. And it's really beautiful to see this, um, like I said, very preventative modality that's making parents and children's lives better, being readily accessible. And you have a free version, right? There's some content on there that's yeah. free. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, we have um, downloads in 155 countries and we just uh, pass 1.5 million downloads. So exciting times. Uh, we, we have a free version. Uh, well, the act, actually, downloading the app is free. Um, you can try the premium version for seven days without a charge, and then you can opt in for the yearly plan. Depending on the country, the yearly plan is around uh, $70 a year. Um, but of, of course, in the free version, it's, uh, you can use it as long as you want. Uh, you will have uh, four stories, um, absolutely free. Um, but we are running a promotion right now for back to school. So it's a 30% off for the next 15 days or so. So yeah, you can find everything on our social media. 30% off for the next 15 days, which is perfect because you guys have the new back to school story on there that's helping so many children with anxiety, perhaps um, from being out of the setting for over two and a half years. And it's um, at the story storybook underscore app is the social handle correct yeah yeah for the english version yes okay <laughs> <laughs> and then uh for everybody that's just tuning in late or has been popping in and out don't worry what we're gonna do is go ahead and post this instagram live but then we're also going to record it into a podcast and make a write-up on a blog. So it's so easy for you to access and um, find Francesco's resources. And we're so grateful to have you. Before we jump off, is there anything else that you want to add in today? Um, no, it, I, I mean, this has been my first Instagram live, live so <laughs> I'm happy I didn't break anything. And <laughs> it was lovely meeting you, Lauren. And I, I really enjoyed talking about this, uh, the importance of this, uh, the bonding element. And um, just for the, for the people listening or reading uh, what we just uh, talked about, um, just try to spare five minutes of your, of your day. It, it doesn't have to be with storybook. Closing the day with um, being read, talking about what, what everyone is grateful for or just sharing some time with the kids makes a ton of difference. We all have the memory 
uh, or most of us have the memory of um, a story being told to us when we were younger. And that's a memory we want to keep um, for our lifetime. So yeah, um, it's a crazy time. Uh, we can make um, a, a little difference in, in our, a big difference in our kids' life with just five minutes of our day. So yeah. Absolutely. And that's such great advice. And thank you so much, Francesco. You can see you're so passionate about what you're doing. You would never be able to tell this is your first live. It's been one of my favorite. <laughs>